currently Saturday morning. We are just waiting for our flight. Um, we're on the way to Puerto Vallarta. I was so excited. Um, Aaron booked it as a last minute trip for my birthday just earlier this week. Um, our flight is about another two hours away. Um, we've pretty much finished everything else. Just gonna get something to eat and then just relax till we have to leave. at our resort we're staying at the Bonaventura Grand Hotel and Spa it's an absolutely beautiful resort that's on the main strip uh, they've got this beautiful open concept lobby it opens out to their restaurants and pool on one end there's tons of stuff to do with the resort if you'd like to on the all-inclusive plan they have two restaurants two bars uh, three pools one of which is adults only so that's really nice um, and then they also have a spa. We decided to get a massage one day But for our first evening there, we just decided to relax and kick back They also have a private beach um, Section that's that opens up to the rest of the beach. It's just at the end of the main beach um, And so it's really nice. You can just sit back relax in one of their lounges and they'll bring you drinks and food uh, Which who's complaining about right? So I'm um, just going to give you a quick tour of our room. We got a king size room. Um, the other options that you can get are a junior suite or a honeymoon suite if I'm not mistaken. Those rooms have um, a jacuzzi in them. But we thought since we're not really going to be in the room too much, we're just going to be out by the pool at the beach um, that it didn't really matter. So I'm just going to show you the entrance. So essentially that's the door. Um, and then as you enter through the door, uh, you've got one closet here, so that's just got a, like a baggage rack, um, an iron, an extra blanket, um, and then you've got one closet right next to that, so that's got um, a safe and then a few more racks. We've just got one of our duffel bags in this closet. Um, and then to the left of the door is the bathroom. It's quite a nice size um, It's just got one sink. You can see all of my hair straightener and all of my makeup on the counter um, And then it's got a little cubicle um, to take a shower So it's quite a nice size um, And I feel like it's it's just enough. It's good enough for two people uh, the room itself is quite big we weren't expecting it to be this big, but it's really nice, brightly colored, really, really clean. That's the king size bed. Uh, you've got two side tables, um, a little mini fridge. Yeah, so because we're on the all-inclusive plan, everything in the mini fridge is part um, of the room. So they keep restocking it on a daily basis. Just got a TV here and um, a few extra drawers. Don't think there's anything in them right now. Um, we've got a full length mirror on this side. It also comes with a table and two chairs. And then I really want to show you the awesome view. Ta-da! Yeah, not the best view, I know. Uh, we were a little disappointed when we checked in. But then again, as I said, we realized we're not really going to be in the room for too long. Um, so we weren't really worried about the view being the way it was. All in all, pretty comfortable. Um, Bed was really nice, housekeeping was really good. Yep, it was a good room. Uh, as I said, we were out and about most, almost all of every day. Um, at the most, we'd be back in the room to take a nap in the afternoon sometimes if we were really tired. So it was good for what it was and I think it was really worth it. The plan that we were on was the all-inclusive. So uh, along with the room, we also paid for our flights, airport transfer, all meals, all drinks included. 
Um, the hotel we're staying at is the Bonaventura Grand Hotel and Spa and Great Moments or something like that. Um, and it's really, really good because the food was was absolutely amazing. Even the, the food and the buffet was really good. They also have a beachside restaurant um, which is right on the beach um, and they do on some nights they do like a set menu so like a set five course menu or on some nights they have a menu where you can pick from and it's all included so once you check in actually once you once you get on the flight to get here you don't have to think of anything else you can literally come with no money in your pocket and have everything taken care of which was a big factor for us when we booked this trip so um, i hope you enjoyed the room tour um, and let me know if you have any other questions. So it's our third day here in Puerto Vallarta and we're just heading to the boardwalk. Um, it's Monday morning, so one of the tour guides told us that the cruise ships come in on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so we've been trying to avoid going to the boardwalk on those two days, so we're just going to get it over with today. It's actually pretty early, it's about 8.30 in the morning. We got up a little early, had some breakfast, and we just headed, we thought we'd head out early so that we could um, just avoid all of the crowds. But yeah, it's a really nice city. It seems like everyone's already up and awake. Um, yeah, so we'll catch up with you once we get there. Um, it's still not very crowded surprisingly uh, mostly just locals taking a morning walk or a morning run the weather is really really nice it hasn't really got very hot yet um, we're just sitting around enjoying the view taking in the view uh, we just passed the big Puerto Vallarta sign on the side I'm not sure whether you can see it it's just around here um, and we're just at these little arches which are super pretty so the plan for the day is um, we're gonna see go see the Church of Guadalupe which is right there in the background um, we're gonna grab some I don't know if we're gonna grab lunch outside I'll go back to the hotel today um, but for now we're just sitting around and enjoying the view such a beautiful place um, you can just constantly hear the ocean I really really miss the beach from when I used to live in Bombay Church of 
Plaza Lupe is really one of the iconic structures on the Puerto Vallarta skyline. It's absolutely beautiful. It's built of brick and the top has these wrought iron angels holding up something that looks like the crown for the Empress of Mexico. It's absolutely beautiful on the inside, very cathedral-like. We just spent a few minutes there and then returned to the boardwalk to walk around. The next day we decided to rent some bicycles from the resort so we could cycle down the boardwalk and go a little further. The bike rentals from the resort were 3 hour rentals and absolutely free so it was really really great. We biked along the boardwalk, it was a little later in the morning, it was really nice and quiet and you can take your own pace and take your own time. Everybody's out and about but everybody is really nice and just relaxed. Um, the locals are all about everywhere and we managed to hit the boardwalk before any of the tourists or any of the cruise ships came in. Apparently it gets quite crowded later in the afternoon and in the evening as well. We then parked our bikes and took a walk along the old part of Puerto Vallarta. It's quite close from the boardwalk. It's also known as the Zona Romantica and it is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely what I pictured when I pictured Mexico. Um, everyone's really relaxed and you can see a lot of locals out and about. It's really, um, there's a little bit of a hustle and bustle but if you go into the little lanes that they have everywhere you can find hole in the wall restaurants and everyone's just relaxing. Mexico so you can't miss out on the street food. Besides the usual tacos and things like that, they also have tons of other stuff. This is just um, a really nice ripe mango. They put it on a stick. They've got some lime juice, dried tamarind, chili powder and salt on it and you guys have to believe me it is absolutely yum. just to chill out while it got a little hot outside and by far my favorite part of this resort was their bar that had swings for seats it was so relaxing so we spent a lot of time just sitting by the bar I promise you we didn't drink too much um, and just taking in the views absolutely stunning breathtaking beach view we spent a lot of afternoons just chatting and relaxing and of course binging on some of the tacos that they actually made poolside which is awesome. It's no secret that Puerto Vallarta has some absolutely stunning beaches but if you're looking to get away from the crowd a little bit and have a bit of a more relaxed uh, day at the beach there are definitely a few beaches that you can check out 
one that we tried was the Playa Amapas as well as the Conchas Chinas um, and they're quite close to the Playa Los Muertos which is the most popular beach it also gets quite a bit crowded during the day so the way you get there is you just walk to the very very end of the Playa Los Muertos beach um, and then you'll come across this little staircase that's kind of embedded in the rock it's a little bit hard to see if you're not standing very close uh, to the end of the rock so once you get on that staircase it's literally a two minute trail over the rock and it just kind of takes you over the cove and onto the other side and the first beach you come across is the Playa Amapas so it's just in a little cove it's quite private uh, the day we went there were only locals and um, just a few kids so that's how we knew it was one of those more um, well-hidden beaches we knew it was one of those more um, well-hidden beaches and, and then if you just walk a little bit ahead you just need to keep following the trail you'll come across the Conchas Chinas beach Again, it's pretty secluded. Uh, all there are, are there just a few food vendors walking around. My best suggestion would be to bring your own uh, beach umbrella and something to sit on. Uh, there are no loungers in that area. There's plenty of shells. The water is absolutely amazing. There's also a lot of rocks um, just at the shore of the beach. Um, they're big rocks though, so you can kind of sit in between the rocks and uh, the water comes in and it is so, so relaxing. grabbed something to eat, just walked around a little bit as well and truly this was such a relaxing trip but we saw so much of new stuff. It really was our first time in Mexico and it was over and above what we were expecting. Um, I absolutely love the cobblestone roads and the locals, everyone is so friendly, always happy to help and cheerful and um, just the vibe of the place is so relaxing, you know, whitewashed walls and so traditional Mexican um, everywhere you go. We obviously had to take one last dip in the beach before we left, so uh, we went back to the Playa Mapas on our very last morning before our flight and absolutely didn't regret it. Again, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun sharing it with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you'll get notified every time I have a new video. The plan is to post more travel videos and share um, all of our travels with you. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.